Welcome back to Alice Customs Project Car TV. Today I'm working on the Scout fenders. They're, this is ready to go to the paint shop, except rather than installing the factory uh, emblems on here, I'm gonna weld these oh. in. I've taken one of them marked vertical and horizontal because it's not necessarily straight with the piece of sheet metal I put in there. Marked where it's gonna go on the fender and we're going to use the cut and butt method, and I think we can do this in about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It's uh, 102 right now, so stay tuned. Let's see how it comes out. Okay, I've looked everywhere. I could not find my international emblem. Find the Scout and the Scout 2, and or the 2 for the Scout 2, and... But I, it's here somewhere, I just don't know where. So I looked them up online. Doesn't look that complicated. I think maybe I could draw these. And we're gonna try. So I'm using this side as a square side and then this side over here is pretty, is pretty much square to the other. And their emblem has changed a few times over the years. So I'm going for the one that looks closest in my mind to what the Scout has. And if this wasn't just for the fact that it's all, appears to be at least a bunch of straight lines, I probably could not do it. And see, I still doesn't match. All right, I did my initial cutting with just a regular throw, four and a half inch death wheel. And I've switched to my new master uh, rotary tool, so generic Dremel. Uh, you guys probably saw a video on this. Oh, I don't know, it's probably been six, seven months. And additionally, it comes with some fiber discs, but they're actually thicker than the disc that I was using on the uh, four and a half inch grinder. So I found in the little kit a bunch of these super thin. I mean, these are probably a 32nd of an inch diameter or uh, thickness. And I'm just going through and cleaning up. And then my plan is to come back with some files. I'm on disc number three, and this is 16 gauge. So it's, it's working just fine. That's the first time I've broken one. But I think one more and we're gonna have it. All right, I got a hole drilled in each of the, uh, the arms there, but I don't know how I'm gonna drill one in that little square, so. May just go get my spot welder and try spot welding all this, but let's finish getting these cut out. So this is gonna be one, two, three, three, two, Clean off a little a few burrs on these, file them a little bit cleaner, file this up. Just get everything nice and clean. Well, that ain't working. I bet the problem is that I've still got the whatever coating is still on the uh, I can't think of it right now. The mill scale. Well, 
So let's take it off of this. Remember, whatever workstation you're using, clutter it up as much as possible. It works so much better there. things I know I've run into in the past is it's just not strong enough it just mm, really should have when I bought this I really should have bought a 220 version not just the 110 or at least I think that's what the issue has been don't honestly know so let's just crack out the MIG welder. Way faster. Okay, now the only problem is when I went to clean up the little square, it flew out of my pliers and I never did find it. So I got to cut a new little square to fit in there. And while before I do it though, I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in the piece of metal that we got to put on there. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so we have our positive and our negative. I've gone over it all again with file and cleaned up the edges after I welded and everything just to make sure everything was straight and had a little bit of gap so that you know the metal had somewhere to go we are going to start with we're just going to start with this piece of 20 gauge I'd like to see if we can do everything on a piece of 18 gauge before we're done but for now we're going to sandwich this in here Like that. That's how I understand we're going to do it. And then we're going to take this over to the English wheel and see what kind of damage we can do. All right. It was recommended that you just use a couple of flat wheels. So we're supposed to start out with some medium pressure and then just keep increasing the pressure. We need to clean that up a little bit. I think it's done something. Let me uh, let me go pull the screws out and we'll look. I pulled the screws out. Sure enough. Sure enough. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So I realized now I forgot to leave the portions of the H horizontal bar so we might have to modify our our plate try it again all right 
you can see now I've changed it up a little bit, which more, looks more like the actual logo. And what I found was uh, it needs to be fairly tight. And if I would roll the whole perimeter a couple of times first, then it, it started to, uh, it squeezed it down a little quicker. So, and after that, I just rolled kind of diagonal through it a few times. And really, the I've done two since the first one now. And each of them have taken maybe two, three minutes. And there's the finished product. Now, <laughs> that to me is pretty cool. You can, if you can think of a design and cut it out, and then I did go back and file a little more on everything just to give a little more clearance. I put a little bit of a bevel with a file on each of the uh, positive side just to make it uh, come out a little smoother. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna get a piece of 18 gauge, throw it in there, and let's see if it will do 18 gauge the same way. more time than I've spent doing the uh, 20 gauge, so let's see if it's even close. Oh, heck yeah. Now, if I'd have been more careful and put it over here in the middle of the plate, this 18 gauge plate could be used for something, but for now, I think that's pretty sharp. All right, well, there you have it. One more thing you can do with your English wheel that I didn't know anything about, but sure is cool. Uh, an 18 gauge where if I had centered it better, we could have maybe used it on something. Uh, I got two and 20 gauge, that pretty easy. Maybe 10 times through the wheel and that's working uh, once you have the pressure pretty tight. Um, and I did find that going around the perimeter of the deal and working your way in, that did seem to help and you were able to start out fairly light pressure and work your way up to the heavy pressure fairly quickly that way. Um, so anything you can think of and cut out, you can make out of art or make into art on your English wheel. With And uh, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna make two more out of 18 gauge and see about welding those into our fenders for the Scout where the original emblems would have been and just kind of have a stealth emblem. Now I did add a little curve into it, just bending it over the edge of, a, of the table. There's the beginnings of it, guys. 
we gotta let all this cool. We are uh, nine, nine minutes in. Nine minutes from, and I already had the, the embossed part made, but nine minutes to get it cut out, tacked in. Most of it's pretty good. I've got a little low spot right here that I'm gonna hammer out. That's it. Everything else looks pretty good. Oh, there's a... So you can see how it goes. Just keep tacking. Let's give it about 20 minutes to cool. We'll come back, spend another five minutes on it. So it's gonna take maybe an hour and a half whole project but you know a lot of that's doing something else while we're letting this cool off so we'll be back all right guys i now have about 28 minutes total into the project uh work time and we're just under an hour right now we're about uh, 56 minutes with waiting for it to cool i've got one little high spot or really i've got a low spot right here so i'm gonna do a little grinding on this and then we'll do a little bit of hammer work right there to try and get this to all blend a little better. All right, guys, that's it. Hour and 21 minutes from start to finish of that. Now, like I said, I already had the IH made and making the pattern took uh, about an hour the other day. Rolling them out on the English wheel takes just two or three minutes. So once you have your pattern, it's pretty easy. And I made these out of uh, 18 gauge. So anyway, this fender really is done now. It's going to the painter today maybe tomorrow anyway thanks for watching please like subscribe hit that bell for notifications all the other youtube stuff i'll see you again next time on alice customs project car tv